the channel. Taro just sent me this uh, new E Time Master. It's a 30 inch walk behind electric mower. I have been waiting for this since last October, so I'm really excited to see if this is the mower I want to replace my gas Time Master. Taro sent this to me. They are not paying me to do this review. And as you know, all my other reviews, we're gonna take a look at this and see if it's the right product for you. I'm not gonna try and sell you a new mower. All right, so let's get started. When you get this, if you get it in a box, in other words, if you don't buy it from a dealer, dealers typically will take these out of the box and set them up for you. If you're buying it from Acme Tools or Home Depot or some other place, it'll probably come in a box. So when you get, it's heavy, it's about 150 pounds in the shipping box. Um, so when you get it home, get it set up and open the box. And I've already opened the box, of course. And the first thing you'll see over here is the word stock. and they go through how to unpack this. The simplest thing to do is to cut the back of the box out here on the side that they talk about, not the other side. And you'll see why in a minute. This box is nice and strong. I don't think you're going to see too many of them dented up. One thing I like to use cardboard for, especially this stuff that's got the um, stuff on the outside here, it makes real good uh, work surfaces for if you're doing painting or crafts or anything like that. Um, you can get a lot of use out of a piece of cardboard like this. I'm cutting this down into sections because my recycle program I gotta make the make these about a third of normal size. Alright so I got the end cut down and, and I took it off. This top piece just comes off. And the first thing you'll find is the manual. You'll also see some other boxes and some stuff in here, like the uh, discharge, the bag. Toro says the next thing to do is to take this, and there's a handhold, just lift this off. <clears throat> Once you get to this point, you can actually roll this right out of the box, and it's all ready to set up. Uh, the handle just comes right up. You'll see it in a second. <clears throat> I do recommend that you stop for a minute Spend about 10 minutes looking at the manual. The manual looks thick, but that's because it's in three different languages. Inside the manual bag, you're going to find the key and a washout port adapter for your garden hose. If you're buying this from someone and they have assembled it, make sure you get this bag, make sure you get the switch, and make sure you get the washout. Uh, every once in a while I find some of the retail stores that stuff disappears. <clears throat> and while I'm here, so this particular model comes with two 10 amp hour batteries and two 2 amp hour chargers. Toro does make faster chargers, but I am finding out that the slower you can charge your lithium batteries, the longer they last. I've got some of these batteries now that are almost five years old and I have not had one issue with a Toro battery since my first one. I can't say that about some of the other brands. Toro also makes this in a uh, model that gives you one 10 amp hour battery, one 5 amp hour battery, and one two and a half amp hour battery. If you're looking at to start a complete electric uh, lawn system, 
Uh, that's not a bad idea. If you've got about a half acre of lawn, the uh, 10 half hour battery will mow that half, amp, that half acre without any problems. The 5 amp is a good uh, battery. Uh, it's about the right weight to handle the uh, leaf blower. And the 2 and a half amp hour battery is great on the string trimmer. Of course, this machine does have three full slots in it. So you can use all of them if you have more than a half acre. They also make a third model that has uh, with, that comes without batteries. I think in another video I'm going to talk about the cost of this versus the bear tool, so on and, so, and the cost of the gas one to see what kind of benefits you can get from running electric and what your payback is going to be. One last thing, <clears throat> this is a residential mower. So you're gonna find that it cuts very well for residential lawns, you can do, you'll, it'll last you years and years. If you're a commercial operator, Toro is introducing a commercial model. The model has a heavier deck, heavier transmission. Um, it comes with three 10 amp hour batteries instead of the two and a couple other features. Uh, like a roll cage so you can put it on your trailer and not get it beat up quite so fast. So if you're a contractor you, you want to look at that one. If you're a homeowner this is the one to look at. All right so next step. All right so take your batteries out and your chargers and the heavy boxes are the batteries. I'm going to set them up here on the shelf and we'll get to them later. If you want right now, you can get them out of the box, get the chargers out of the box, plug them in, and just top them off if you want to go them all right away. The light boxes are the chargers. And they have you can hang those chargers up on the wall with some screws if you want. I usually just set them on a set them on a shelf. Right now, I've got 13 batteries, 13 Toro 60 volt batteries. Uh, I've got some that get used every week. I've got some that really haven't used at all this year yet. Um, <clears throat> There's over 75 tools that uh, fit these batteries now. So, including commercial. Taro is introducing a full line of commercial uh, tools this year. And these batteries also fit the commercial ones and vice versa. Well, in the box or in the manual, it says the dis side discharge chute is not included but guess what this one's got it in it so that's nice it, you can get the discharge chute for free if it doesn't come in the box just by registering your your uh, mower and they'll send it to you last here is the bag and frame and I need to walk around on that side and get it out of there All right, uh, it's broken down. Let me see this. Let me turn this just a little bit. It's broken down just a little bit. Uh, just get this bubble wrap off of it, which keep, keeps everything from scratching. And it's sticky side. So start on one end and just keep prying, it'll come off. You don't have to cut it off if you're you got a little patience so there it is then all you have to do is snap this onto that bar I'll do that later again let's put this over one thing nice here for me is I have <clears throat> is I have the gas powered one and I also have this one so now I have two bags I've used the, uh, the bag on the gas part one quite a bit over the years. It's good, just fine. 
And I just may keep using that on this one and keep this one as a spare new one. That's just me. Now there's a little more plastic here. I guess I might as well, while I'm here, take this off. You know me, I'm kind of old and I don't bend down too well, so I like to work up here as much as I can. And one more piece of bubble wrap down there on the handle. That's it. If you lift, let's go around to the back a minute. This blue handle here is for the handle. Uh, when we lift this up, there's four different positions. You can have it folded over like this, you can have it standing straight up, and then it has two positions for tall and short people. This is where the bag fits on, and if you notice, it's huge. This is the plug for the bag. Have that in if you're going to do mulch or side discharge. I don't bag except for a few leaves in the fall at, at one of the properties, otherwise the mulch plug stays in there all the time. So the next thing then is to lift up the handle. And it's locked, so pull it back for just bring it up till it's vertical, then raise it up. And everything is designed so that the cables and everything all come together nice. Um, I don't have any problems with uh, toral stuff that way. There's no binding on these cables at all. This one is typical, just as good as the rest. I like the quality of this machine so far. It's as good and I think better than the gas time master, time master that I have. So tighten these two nuts down and then you're ready to take it out of the box. You want to adjust your handle so it's down in an operator position, just move this lever. There's high and there's low. So five foot to six foot five. Everybody, it works good for everybody. Just those two little differences. All right, once, uh, once I get out of the box here, I'll show you how to assemble the final piece, which is the safety bail that turns the deck on and off. down on the ground. So safety bail goes in here. You see the holes. One on this side. Lift it up. Goes in there. And there. Looks good. One last piece of bubble wrap. or the traction control handle. Tell you what that does later on. And that's it, it's ready to go. Put your key in, put your batteries in, and you're ready to mow lawn. <clears throat> so let's go over a few of the features of this. All right, this machine has two levers for setting the height, one for the rear, one for the front. It looks like it's come set up for about three inch mowing height, so I see that a lot. People will buy a new mower and they don't realize that they have to raise it up to mow with it so they're out there cutting their lawn at three quarters of an inch and wondering why nothing works right. So in the box, this one is set up for about three inches. You can raise it up to four and a half or down to one and three quarters depending on the type of lawn you have, type of grass that you want to mow. Very easy. To use very simple. 
We talked about the back end here, talked about the bagger. I did not tighten this down, so let's tighten this down a second. And even if you forgot to tighten it down, it's not going to come off. It's a captive nut. Up here on the top, they have a new uh, personal pace handle. It's curved all the way around instead of the angled one like before. So it doesn't matter how tall or short you are, there's a spot on here that, that'll be comfortable for you. Personal pace, if you've never used it before, all you have to do is pull your safety, pull your safety bail in for your deck and grab a hold of this handle and start walking. It'll automatically stay in front of you. There's no gears, there's no on off or whatever. If you want to stop, you just relax your hands, stop walking, or if you want to stop mowing, you just release this and take your hands off. If you hit something and you're worried about it, just take your hands off and everything stops. <clears throat> it, it's hard to explain how easy it actually is. Um, I had a neighbor who's been borrowing the uh, gas powered one here for the last couple weeks and the first time he used it he was pretty confused and by the time he walked down to his yard with it running with just without the blades running uh, he was a pro at it. He goes I really like this and I do too. It's the best best type of drive out there for this size of mower and for the smaller walk behinds. And you want to know what the battery compartment looks like, don't you? Battery compartment, one thing nice that they did is the cover flips forward. So if you forget to put it down or if it's vibrating or something like that, it, and it's over center so that it'll automatically close. And I think there's a little magnet here. Yep, there's a little screw and then a magnet here to keep the cover from rattling around. Uh, and there's another one over here. Okay, so two magnets hold it down. <clears throat> the battery compartment has three slots. One, two, and three. Normally, with the batteries that you get, I uh, can't think, can you see that? It's a little dark in here, but with the batteries that you get, you put, put them in these two slots. If you have an extra battery and you want to do some extended run time, like I have a bunch of seven and a half hour batteries, put your two batteries up here and then put the third one back here and that'll give you another 15, 20 minutes of mow time. So you can easily mow a full acre with the two 10 amps and a seven and a half hour. <clears throat> And if your grass is light, 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 you can probably do, uh, well, 65 minutes of run time, so you can easily do three quarters of an acre or more on the two 10 amp hour batteries. This over here is the heat sink for the speed control, or for the motor controllers. The motor is down in this case here. Uh, you don't get to see it. It is watertight for rain, uh, but they're not saying that it's watertight for a garden hose. So my suggestion is if you decide you want to use a garden hose on this to clean it off, keep your spray down here and wipe this top off with a, a dirt-free rag and you'll be good to go. It does have headlights. All these new electric mowers have headlights. I didn't see the sense of them first. But then I started realizing there's a lot of people, like my nephew, who work such odd hours that the night they wanted to mow the lawn, they don't get home till almost dark. So having headlights on your mower, that's eh, not a bad deal. Uh, they, didn't, they don't turn off, they use so little power that nobody cares about them. In another video, I'm gonna show you the differences between the E-Time Master and the regular Gas powered Time Master, uh, you'll be surprised. Just a hint this mower, 
There's not much difference between it and the gas powered one. 90% of the parts are all the same. The only real difference is the power unit. So this one's using an electric power unit. The gas ones are using a gas powered. So 10 inch wheels in back, eight inch wheels in front. They're nice and wide. So even if you're in soft ground, you can, uh, it'll run right through it. I've never had a traction issue with a Time Master, even mowing 45 degree ditches, she hangs right in there. I think one last thing that I want to show you in this video is, right here is your model and serial number and a QR code. If you scan that QR code, your parts and operators, parts list and operators manual pop up. And it's up to date on the Toro website, so you can order parts right there if you want to, like spare blades. Or you can go to your local Toro dealer and get them. Just make sure that you bring your model number along with you. Alright, any questions? Feel free to leave comments and questions uh, in the uh, comment section below. If you like this video, please like it. If you'd like to if you'd like to get more videos like this, please subscribe. And if you want to get the videos right away, hit the bell. In the next videos, we're going to take a look at this one compared to the gas-powered one. I'm going to show you how it mows. We're going to take a uh, trial between this and the gas-powered one on mowing. I've got some really tough grass that makes the gas time master whine a lot. Uh, let's see how this one does doing that stuff. All right. Thank you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Down in the dirt.